I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder. And I looked, and behold, was death. Hello, welcome to What the Flick. Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. Sounds like a lot of fun, right? Those four words strung together in that order, they should be fun. Uh, we'll find out if they actually are. I'm Christy and this is Matt. Ben and Alonzo did not have the, the pleasure of seeing our 16th president slaying vampires. Because in the dead of, of night. work conflicts, not laziness or lack of right. desire. Whatever. Right. Why did you not see it? Oh, you played softball. It was a work conflict. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you do? You didn't tear your ACL, I, I see. I didn't tear my You're ACL. In one piece. We lost eight to four. Was it worth mm. it? No. I think you yeah. probably had more fun than we had at Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter, though. So please take it away. Uh, it's Abe Lincoln hunting vampires. You find out early on his mother was killed by a vampire and it sets up a mm. lifelong desire for revenge. He gets trained and it becomes his life's work to wipe out vampires. Let's take a look. And I saw. And hell followed me. the Kazakhstan-born director Timur Bekmembetov. Oh yeah. And yeah, he also on. made... Nice job. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Let's not get ourselves. Let's not let that go. Очень <laughs> хорошо. Um, so he made a movie called Wanted in 2008, which was badass. That movie's awesome. Which was really, really fun. Which had a strong woman in it, Alonzo. It did right? indeed. Angela Jolie. So um, tell us about this movie then. Did you like this movie? Was it fun? Uh, not as fun as it should have been. It's a bummer, huh? It, it doesn't go far enough. Yeah. That's the biggest problem, is I felt like they kind of half-assed it. Now, mm. this is, what, the second movie that Bickman Bitoff has done with Tim Burton? Yeah, they both produced uh, Nine, the uh, animated Nine, which is beautiful. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that Tim Burton's starting to be a bad influence on him. On all of on, us. Uh, well, but on Bickman yeah. Bitoff. Like, he had these really yeah. great over-the-top movies, and now he's kind of like, I, I feel like, again, he half-assed it. Like, there were some elements, this movie doesn't go crazy enough as it should. And that really bothered me. The other thing is, it kind of looks crappy, as it you and I talked horrible. about. It looks horrible. It's a terrible 3D transfer. It's a 3D conversion. This did not need to be in 3D. And what happens with the 3D is what happened a lot in, did you see Immortals? You see we had a bit of yes. Immortals last year. Yeah. So Tarzan Singh Immortals, with a big gimmicky 3D trick he quite often does, is like slow motion slashings and beheadings, and like the blood comes spurting out. And that looked better in Immortals than it looked here. It did look better in Immortals, but it's a, it's a gimmick that they go back to so often. Like the first couple times, it's kind of cool. Like, oh, OK. and then after like eight of them. Yeah, I, you know, it's got some so good boring. moments in it, mm -hmm. but for the most part, I was mostly disappointed. You know, it doesn't, they, they seem to almost set things up at the end mm -hmm. that don't actually happen. Like uh, well, I don't, that would be a spoiler. Oh, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, sorry, we don't spoil here, yeah, sorry. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, he gets elected. <laughs> 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 Edit that out, please. Edit out the word it's not cool. That was not cool. <laughs> So wait, so wait. I need to now think of something else to say to get back into this. Yeah, so... It's just I, too painfully self-serious is the deal, right? Yeah, it kind of takes itself too seriously when it really needs to be more more over the top like Wanted was. You know, it should have been camp. Where fun. Wanted goes so crazy. This one, it tries for that, you know, the whole horse scene where he's chasing the guy, running on the back of the horses. Right, they're like surfing the on the stampede, backs of horses to chase each other. Yes. There were some really fun moments, of, but that scene looked terrible. It looked like a PS2 game from <laughs> five years ago. Uh, it looked awful. It's really hard in, in the big set pieces to see what's going on, right? Yeah. Because it's this horse stampede, they're kicking up all this dust and dirt. Plus it's this 3D conversion, so it makes it extra muddled and murky. And then the, the big climactic brawl aboard this runaway train, right. it, and then it's impossible to tell who is doing what to whom. It's also really hard to well, care at that point. And, and the guy playing the lead, I just, I didn't find that right. interesting. There's no there there. Um, Benjamin Walker, he looks just like young Liam Neeson, like distractingly so, and played young Liam Neeson in Kinsey. Yes. Mm. Looks just like him. And he's tall and he's lanky, so he can pull and off And Liam Neeson's about to play Lincoln for Spielberg, right? No. Is that not happening? That was Daniel Day-Lewis. I thought Liam Neeson was playing Lincoln for somebody. Mm. They've been talking about that for years. Okay. Never anyway, so, but he, this guy, he's like, he's like six foot three, he's tall, and he's lanky, so he kind of looks the part. But then once he becomes the Abe Lincoln, Lincoln that we know, right, with the beard and right. the hat and the speech and all that, I mean, it feels like he's playing dress up. Like he never embodies the and, spirit yeah, you of never, this towering right, You never figure. feel any gravitas. He no. still feels like a little kid. He never changes. From the time, yeah, even though he, 
He woos the woman he loves. He right. becomes this badass vampire killer. He becomes a president. Like he's the same guy. There's yeah. no transformation there's, there. There's an him. element of almost self doubt, like a, a naivete, maybe call it, mm -hmm. in in the way Lincoln is presented here, which is absolutely not what you want to see. Like if you're going to set up Abraham Lincoln as a vampire hunter, you want to see him as stern as you imagine Lincoln to be, plus killing vampires. He's kind of unsure of himself. Yeah, and like. I don't want to see a doubting Lincoln. Like, what the fuck is that? How did they handle the Lincoln-Douglas debates? Badly. That's, that's actually briefly in there. Oh, it is, is it really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's briefly in there, but they don't really go anywhere with it. Stephen Douglas a vampire? This is, was, I, I don't no. want to give it away. No. This, <laughs> this is the second He's collaboration this year between <laughs> Seth Graham Smith and Tim Burton coming after Dark Shadows, which is worse. Oh, uh, that's true. Which, better yeah. or worse, worse than Dark Shadows? Um, this is worse than Dark Shadows. Ouch! Don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. It's the same kind of level of by the numbers. I, I get the feeling it's going to do really poorly. I think Probably. so. Probably. Well, and then we should talk about what we both thought was really tacky. The fact that they are trying to equate the human versus vampire battle with slavery. Yeah. Like, I mean, what they, what they're they having a parallel with each other with what, these two themes. What they set up is that the southern plantation owners are vampires and they're feeding on slaves. Mm -hmm. Which, okay, fine. Uh, and then that's what inspires Lincoln, or what partially inspires Lincoln to take this anti-slavery bet and leads him to be the Lincoln that we know. Like, like if you were, they were just enslaving him, fine. But right. if they're going to eat them, them right. Right. Yeah. they're feeding on them. You know, and wrong. it's all part no. of his plot to destroy vampires. You know, if it wasn't... They, if it was just people enslaving them, fine. But since it's vampires, mm. I gotta cut off their food yeah. supply. Like it's, it's really distasteful. Shitty. Yeah, mm. it's, it's tacky. And then, but that's not. And also, the la one of the last lines. See, now in the that's movie, a worse spoiler than. Okay, one of the last <laughs> lines in the movie. I act this. This I actually mentioned in my review. The last line in the movie. Yeah. One of the last lines is a really, really um, tacky throwaway joke about how they're gonna be late for the theater. No. It's no. not cool. It's not funny. I'm like, really? We're going to go there? Is John Wilkes Booth a vampire? No. Is that the... <laughs> no, see, no. that would have been That would have been funny. <laughs> Actually, I like what your theory was. Was that they Yeah, and then they don't do it. They don't do what his theory was, which I'm not going to give away. All right. What did you give it, Matt? Uh, I, what did I give it? Uh, 4.5. I gave it a 2.7. All right, so 3.6, your number for vampire, yeah. for yeah. Abe looking Vampire Slayer. And yeah, it's about 30% on the tomato meter. Not that good. I don't think it's going to do very well. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.